Welcome back to Sports Center as we turn our attention to the work that our friends and colleagues over at ESPN PR have been doing. It's a group that is the center of all things ESPN. Truly a must follow on Twitter and Instagram at ESPN PR. That's where all the curated, gargantuan, precedent setting, industry impacting announcements were made and shared. It was basically one blockbuster after another. So many, in fact, that we wanted to shower some extra attention on the biggies. Indeed, we are proud to present the top 10 ESPN PR announcements of 2021. So, Kelsey, let's start it off with number 10. At number 10 is the January conclusion of the college football season like no other. Perhaps the only thing more impressive than Alabama going 13-0 was the way ESPN delivered all the games to fans in the midst of a raging pandemic. And ESPN PR was there to document those Herculean efforts. At number nine, Ryan, in this chronological top 10, the March announcement that ESPN had reached a historic 10-year deal with the NFL beginning in 2023. That includes being added to the Super Bowl rotation and, as announced separately, a Monday night wildcard playoff game, as well as numerous exciting content opportunities. So checking in at number eight, also revealed in March, is the NHL's return to ESPN with an innovative seven-year deal that began at the start of this season and has established ESPN Plus as a must-have for diehard hockey fans. And number seven in our top 10 is ESPN's May announcement of a seven year deal with Major League Baseball that will run from 2022 to 2028. Now that comes on the heels of ESPN's 24 Sunday night baseball telecast in 2021 being up 18% from 2020. So for number six, let's give you a little international flavor, shall we? At number six in our top 10, May saw ESPN and La Liga agree to an eight year rights agreement for the top division in Spanish soccer. For number five, Ryan, in our chronological top 10, we combine a lot of different events into one big statement. Hmm. We are back with innovation, strategic planning, and incredible determination. ESPN presented 27 NCAA championships over three and a half months and helped remind everyone how important college sports are to its fans. At number four, Kelsey, tennis anyone? It's the July revelation that ESPN will continue to be the exclusive home of Wimbledon under the terms of a new 12-year agreement with the All England Lawn Tennis Club. And at number three, we enter the top three of our chronological top 10 with the July news that the Manning brothers would be co-hosting an alternate telecast of several Monday night football games. When it launched in September, it became nothing short of a runaway smash hit as a compelling compliment to the main telecast. Sure was a lot of fun uh, to see who they have on and what they do on Monday. Every week, it's the gift that keeps on giving. And number two in our countdown is October's confirmation that the WNBA's 25th season was monumental in many respects. Listen to this. The 2021 WNBA playoffs were the most viewed postseason since 2014 and the regular season was up 49% year over year. Now for the number one announcement in our countdown November's ESPN Plus debut of Man in the Arena, a docuseries featuring Tom Brady and other notable figures as they deconstruct the milestones of Brady's legendary NFL career. ESPN Plus now has over 17 million subscribers and the incredible content continues to be churned out. So there it is, a top 10 like no other in sports year, like no other. And you know one thing for sure, don't you? Together, there's more to come. And a breaking news alert, a late addition to our top 10. ESPN and Comcast announced in late November they will distribute the ACC network to Xfinity customers, allowing fans and followers of the ACC to access the multi-platform network all year long. So yes, that means more ACC games, more content, and more original programming for everyone.